Hello everyone, welcome back with another RSPS video. Today we're back on Midgard RSPS, one of the most unique Rusky Province servers out there. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be coding a brand new video name. Very excited, fast things fast. The giveaway is going to be a lovely 50 double to one lucky winner. All you have to do for that one is like the video, comment, check your names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. If you guys enjoy Midgard, make sure to do so. The links are down below. And when you log in for the first time, make sure to type Colin Connery fast space walkers for an insane freaking starter pack. So make sure you're claiming that one. Join with the links down below. And I would say, let's get right into the video. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out a bunch of different money makers. There's so many unique ways to make money in Midgard. Early on, late game, as well as for all the skillers, PVMers, everything is in the building. The first thing you guys want to do when you log in, of course, is voting. There we go. Vote books coming in, as well as the daily vote rewards. At least you're free if you vote for 30 days in a row. You're going to get a $25 bond as well for free. I mean, that is super easy and super free. Now you've got two options. We can sell the vote book or we can go ahead and claim it. I'll probably comment to go and claim it. You get some nice boosts for that one. And you're also going to get a vote point, which is going to help you out a lot with upgrades, especially early on. To get yourself a those vitality piece, as well as weapons, super, super OP. And, um, yeah, definitely sure to be voting. Another thing I've saw right on the bat right here are definitely the stalls that you guys can go ahead and farm for those lovely material boxes and everything. And, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty decent. So definitely feel free to check this out as well at the home area. And we have, of course, the lovely Slayer Rin, which we're going to talk about in a second. But first, when you see a lovely Globals like Dragonus right here, you want to teleport there. You want to go there, kill this bad boy, because this is really, really OP money as well. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kill this guy. And as we can see, you're going to get guaranteed 5 million in cash right here, as well as the Vampire Dust. And you also have a chance for all those other lovely items right here, including this unique Saturn Sai. If you get spooked, oh my god, you can make absolute freaking bank right here. Here we go to Platinum Keys, as well as the cash and the vampire dust. So the cool thing is with those keys right here, you can actually open them at the home right here for the chest. We've got the normal crystal chest all the way to the raptor one right here. You go ahead and open it, and if you get lucky, you can get some nice upgrades right here as well. And the next thing, which is super, super important, one of the most important corner pieces on Midgun, is definitely Slayer. Ladies and gentlemen, you get your task right here. You're going to complete it, and then you guys will be getting yourself some really juicy rewards. You're going to get the level ups, and you're also going to get yourself Slayer points, which you guys can spend on this shop right here for a bunch of lovely upgrades. You definitely want to get yourself these Slayer Helm as early as possible, and after that, you can literally go ahead and unlock a couple of Slay uh, a couple of prior things right here, as Rigor, as well as Augury, and then you can start working towards level 93 for the Deathless right here. This guy has even crazy rewards right here. Also, we can see, you're going to be unlocking the Alchemical Hydro Dust right here. You can get the Codex, which will unlock you Soul Split, as well as two more. Death Notes, Hydrix, Death Scythe, 150k points. That's insane. And then finally, the Reaper Aura, which I think is super, super OP. So, Slay is definitely one of the biggest content pieces you guys want to go ahead and farm. Because this is also linked towards raids, which we're going to talk about in a second. The cool thing is the entire monster list right here is filled with Slayer grinds right here. So everything you see in here is going to be linked to Slam. So for example, we're going to go ahead and farm this one. Very decent money maker. And you have a chance for all those lovely upgrades as well right here that you guys can sell. Or you can dissolve. Dissolving is also a big thing on Midgard right here. Where you guys will be getting yourself materials that you need for a bunch of up. And of course, we're going to go into the boss and right here. That's going to drop you even better loot right here, which is definitely recommended. There is, I don't know if there's a specific boss you guys want to be focusing on. Anything you're going to be killing is actually very, very nice. If you click above the loot, you can see what you can dissolve those items into. Or you can literally just go ahead and sell those. For example, Zara Diamond Pieces. And the list is absolute freaking huge what you guys can go out and farm. Obviously, the further down the list, the better the loot you guys will be getting right here. Next as well, in the building with 12 and everything. And all the next pieces looking super nice. Where can live the right here? Justicio, Druin, Portazir, Solok. One of the most popular bosses, group boss in the game right here. Where you guys can make absolute freaking bank by getting those lovely Solok pieces right here. And uh, then we've got the Mimic one, which requires the Mimic token to kill right here. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty fucking awesome. As you can see, always in the requirements list, you will need Slayer to be farming, though. So, Slayer is super, super OP. you got to build everything up on Slayer, okay? So, farming Slayer is literally the way to go. Into the mini games, Barrows, Fight, Kips, and Final Troll, Invasion. Troll Invasion, for sure, do it once a week. Run here, you get the reward book, which is absolute freaking OP. Pass Control, Dominion Tower, right here, which is also pretty decent. And then we've got the brand new Hanto mini game that you guys will be able to farm for. Skilling outfits right here. 
Crystal tree always available. You just teleport to the location and you're going to be farming it for some lovely materials. Especially for Herblot, this is very OP because Herblot is completely customized as well on Midgard. You can make all those OP potions right here in order to make them. You guys need a lot of different materials that you guys will be able to farm through the game, but also from the crystal tree. And of course, as mentioned, we have a bunch of different globals that you guys always want to kill. Dragonus, Aurora, Hawir, the lovely Vote Demon. All of them are free money, so whenever you see those, you want to teleport them. Into raids, this is the very end game stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and do a raid right here so I can showcase it to you. All the way to Serum Raid, which requires 99 raiding. So, your raids grants will start with Slayer Grinds, which is a Zarek one right here. 80 Slayer required for that one. And then you guys can do it solo, you can do it with other people. Anyway, you're going to be making yourself a lovely lobby. Jump into it, and then of course bring your basket to complete it. And the cool thing is you actually will be able to have custom rooms, even though it's very, very close towards Champions of It's a bit different right here, but it looks super, super neat. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and complete this. Second room, we've got Mutada into Lizard, Main Shamans, into Vasani Siege Fry, into the lovely Venga. And then the final room, Tactic right here, also got a really cool mechanic and everything that you guys have to go ahead and dodge. And you guys will see it right here. You have to run around. Otherwise, you're going to get one-shotted. So that's actually pretty fucking awesome as well. There we go. Rate completed. And you guys will get yourself some lovely rewards. And hopefully, you're going to get spoons. One more for sure. As well as the golden loot key. Not too shabby. And then we're also going to be farming rate, uh, key, uh, rate points per run right here. Which you can spend on the shop as well. So rate is super, super OP money maker as well that you guys want to be focusing on. And then you want to go to the chaotic rate right here whenever you have 80 rating. And I can actually try and run on that one as well. The serum rate, I won't be able to do it solo. But I have a lovely rating video that I've released in the morning. So feel free to check that out with all the rates. And you can always check out also the drops of the rates right here in the interface. By clicking on drops. So you can see what everything is being dropped. But obviously serum rate is the best one. Because you guys will be getting all those items. Which go all the way to Bast and Slot. First room, we've got those uh, Wages right here. Let's go ahead and clap it. With a spec right here, we should be actually pretty OP. Uh, but they have a lot of HP, actually. First room completed. Specs are very OP. There is spec restores that you can use, but I kind of didn't do it. Let's go and kill Mr. Blink. That's the next room. Next room, Ramadot right here. Not too shabby. You need that two taxes for sure to complete it. But yeah, let's kill them. Next one, we've got Hope Devour right here. Let's clap him as well. Rate completed, 10 million in cash, as well as a uh, platinum key right here. I mean, that's insane. 10 mil per rate completion. That is so much money you can make from this raid right here. You guys get the day. Raiding is definitely the way to go. And over there, we have also a scoreboard that you guys can check out for the lovely shop ones again. Then we also have a bunch of different skilling methods that are actually OP money because a lot of people want to go for the max cape so they can get actually the best of cape. Uh, so skilling is actually very, very OP. Very high required stuff in there. And then we have this brand new one, which is a pure money maker as well. Which is this custom agility curse right here, where we have to go out and complete the entire thing. It's pretty fucking fun. You have lots of obstacles, and after that one, you guys will get pretty much cash straight forward. After you complete this thing right here, you're going to get this werewolf token. You're going to get 750k in cash for that. And it takes you literally a minute to go and complete that. So you guys get the day. Super OP through skilling to make some money as well. And to wrap up this money making bit, we're going to kill 50 Solux right here as well. I'm going to be using Death to the Chance to one shot this guy. It's a group activity. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and make this lovely lobby. We're going to go to a solo one right here. And we're going to kill this guy a couple of times right here and see what we're going to be getting. And as you can see, if we get lucky, we can pull some of those Solux weapons right here. But of course, super, super hard. But the money you're going to be making is absolute freaking incredible. So yeah, make sure to be killing it. As much as you guys can. Alrighty, boys. We did kill 50 plus Solux right here. That is the location. 15 mil in cash. 104k of PVM tickets, which is insane. And we've got those coinbacks right here as well for another bit more cash. 44 diamonds, eye keys, a lot of different things. As, for example, Mimi kill tokens, staffed effigies, Secretarian heights, all those items that are pretty normal loot, I guess. We didn't get spoons. But the loot is absolute beautiful. So you guys get that there's tons of ways to make really good money on Midgard. Get involved. Get on the grind. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this brand new video on Midgard. If you did and would like to do the giveaway, smash the like button, comment your names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. And check out Midgard with the links down below. And again, when you're logging for the first time, make sure to type Colin, Colin, Refire, Space Walkers into the chat to get yourself a very juicy start pack. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Have a good one and peace out.